My name is Brian Haas. I'm the director of golf here at Blue Top Bridge at Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Grew up in Dubuque, Iowa. Left Dubuque uh, uh, for Chicagoland area and uh, in Florida. Had two different stints there and back into Chicago. And uh, happy to be home after 15 years of, uh, of being out of Iowa. The overall vision, I, I think it, it has a lot of uh, potential as far as holding a major event. Uh, the length of the golf course, the course designer, uh, the layout of each of the holes lends itself to to the major event, and uh, and that's our aspirations to have a PGA Championship, U.S. Open, or something of that caliber. My actual favorite hole is the shortest par four in the golf course, and that's number 17. And uh, it's a, it's a neat hole in the sense that it, it forces you to think. It has uh, obstacles for you to carry as far as bunkers off the tee. It's a force to carry over the creek. And, uh, and it makes you want to play through one of the bunkers as opposed to playing the hole the way it was designed. Uh, no matter what, you're going to have a short iron into the green. It just depends on how much you want to chew off. It's a, it's a beautiful hole. It plays downhill over the creek with a sharp dog leg to the left. Even though it's a challenging course at 7,505 yards, you know each set of tees for the first three sets moving forward, move forward 500 yards at a time. So from the 7505, you move up to 7,025, so approximately 500 yards. And then you move up again to uh, just under 6,500 yards. And, and the increments keep going. So, so every player can find the right distance and really enjoy themselves. Could you just explain uh, you know, what exactly the, the carts are going to be equipped with? Obviously, that's one of them. What's uh, some of the functions? They're going to be equipped with the GPS. Um, it'll allow them to kind of see where they're at on the golf course as far as yardage. Um, they'll be able to um, order food uh, at the, our uh, garden cafe here. Uh, so as they approach the ninth hole uh, and come in, they'll be able to grab sandwiches or beverages and, and go on their way. So this is the uh, hole map for the uh, par five third hole. You can see the other two carts in our group are moving ahead of us and all the yardages for the uh, front and carry of each bunker and for, uh, well the green's not being shown yet, center of the green's being shown here. We're sitting on the second tee box of the 611 par 5 number 16 hole. The longest par 5 in all of Iowa. The hole actually looks like a Grant Wood rendering of uh, the Iowa countryside. It's going to be first class. It needs a few years to mature. Uh, it's got some design here that uh, you're not going to find anywhere else in Iowa. It, re it reminds me a lot of the Deer Run uh, PGA course down in the Quad Cities. Uh, I think it's going to be harder, believe it or not. I think that uh, the greens here are, are what really is going to separate this course from, say, the say the Harvester uh, uh, Deer Run um, and uh, Hunters Ridge and a lot of the other sort of Upscale, upper scale, upscale courses in Eastern Iowa. I think this is going to be a real destination point for a lot of people. Number one, you got you know you got the you got the entertainment, you got the uh, the, the, the gaming, the gambling down here. Uh, beautiful hotel with an indoor outdoor pool, restaurants uh, that are going to be you know some of the best around I think, and uh, uh, and then you got the golf course. I just think it's going to be a, it's going to be a spot where people are going to come. Even uh, you know from Cedar Rapids just for a weekend, you know, get a weekend getaway. Uh, and then they're going to get them from all over, like uh, kind of a Galena type of thing. Uh, uh, you know, you're not going to have the condos, although those people are putting them up. They're not associated with the course right now, but mm -hmm. uh, it's just. I think it's going to be a destination spot where people will come and spend a long weekend or a short weekend, whatever it might be, and uh, play some golf and have some fun and maybe gamble and watch a show. It's a beautiful course. Um, the thing I noticed is a. Uh, not a super long hitter, but a, probably a longer than average hitter is a lot of the bunkers. Are, they are uh, perfectly placed in the landing zones. <laughs> where where I, I've played out of more sand today than I have this whole season. And um, But the bunkers are beautiful bunkers. They're easy to play out of. They're challenging. But they are easy to find. Um, they're all over the course. I think Brian said there's 70-some bunkers on this course. It, it'll, be, uh, it'll be real nice for the players to come down and be able to... Uh, and to be kind of pros for a day, it, it seems like it'd be kind of a PGA kind of atmosphere where you, you know, unlimited range balls in the range, you come down, they clean your clubs for you, they take good care of you, and I think it'll be, uh, it'll be a real pleasant experience for anybody that comes down to play.